The Challenges of Energy Politics Energy is one of the foundations of modern society. We need energy to drive our cars, to cook our food, and to light our homes. Because energy is so important to us, it is no surprise that it is closely tied to politics. For the past 150 years, one of our main energy sources has been fossil fuels. The reason for this is simple. Fossil fuels have been cheap and easy to transport and use. However, as you already know, fossil fuels are causing environmental problems, such as climate change. Because of these environmental problems, most governments have agreed to reduce the amount of fossil fuel consumption and move to renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar. Environmental reasons are a big reason for this shift, but it is not quite as simple as this. Some countries are more inclined to support renewable energy than others. Let's take a closer look at what is causing this difference in politics. There are many countries in the world that do not and cannot produce fossil fuels. This means that they are strongly dependent on countries that are willing to sell them fossil fuels. For instance, many countries in Europe are strongly dependent on oil from Africa and the Middle East, and natural gas from Russia. However, countries don't like to rely on other countries too strongly, because this reduces national safety. So it is no surprise that European countries are the strongest advocates for renewable energy, because that will give them the opportunity to produce their own energy. Energy influences politics strongly. Countries use it to bargain and even blackmail other countries to work for their best interest. We see many examples of this in history. For example, when Russia occupied Crimea, Western countries made trade sanctions to hurt Russia's economy. However, what would have really hurt Russia is if countries would have stopped buying their fossil fuel. However, Western countries did not want to extend their trade sanctions to energy because trade was so crucial for them. That also meant that the Western countries could not pressure Russia as much as they would have liked to. In addition to the big-picture scenarios, countries also have different interests in what energy sources are considered environmentally friendly. The fact is, there probably isn't a single energy source that is 100% environmentally friendly. Let's take a look. Solar panels are material-intensive, and they require rare metals that need to be mined out of the ground. These mines are unfriendly to the environment, having the potential to cause large environmental disasters. Furthermore, some of these rare metals may only be found in a few countries in the world, meaning that countries are once again reliant on a particular country to sell these rare metals to them. Water power, on the other hand, may kill fish and cause floods. Furthermore, the dead organic matter caused by dams produces methane, a much worse greenhouse gas than CO2. Bioenergy also produces emissions, such as microparticles. Furthermore, it takes decades for the CO2 to be recaptured by new forest, meaning that the CO2 emissions still heat the planet in the short term. So, though solar power, water power, and bioenergy are typically considered renewable energy sources, they may still cause environmental challenges. However, calculating the environmental impact of any given energy source is very complicated and something scientists and economists find hard to agree on. As you can see, energy politics is complicated, and countries find it hard to agree on things, as each country wants to support an energy source that they can produce and sell. However, though we cannot change politics overnight, we can make a change by the way we act and consume. So here are some things that you can do to be a part of the needed change. 1. Research Examine what renewable energy sources can be produced in the climate where you live. 2. Compare Compare the prices of these energy sources now and in the predictable future as technology develops. 3. Make a change Find out what type of energy you use at home and examine how much it would cost to change to a greener way of producing energy. If you start producing your own energy, the initial investment may be quite high. But how long will it take for the investment to pay back? 4. Impact ideas You have the power to impact how others think. Start talking about the need and costs of changing to renewable energy. Be the change you want to see.